I'm here with Martha Lieber, Director of Business Systems at Papagino's and D'Angelo Restaurants with 280 restaurants in the New England area. And Martha, you compete in what we could call an atomized environment where there are pizza joints on every corner and yet Papagino's has been successful uh, both with its, uh, its pizza and sandwich business in competing with uh, this very distributed competitive environment. How do you do it? I think um, to be competitive in this market, you really need to um, know your base, know who your guests are, what it is that they like, and, and why they like your product over somebody else's. Um, you need to know how to market to those guests, and you need to know um, what makes you distinctive, what makes you stand out from your competitors. It is highly competitive. You're competing not only with small, smaller mom and pops, but you're also competing with some very big name brands. Um, that are trying to uh, beat you out on price. So quality of product, uh, your guest interaction, cleanliness of your restaurants, um, lots of factors in being successful. What are some of the data points that you collect about your retail operations? We collect a lot of data, uh, not just sales and transactions, which I think is pretty typical. Um, we look at guest survey results. We look to see how our guests perceive our, our business. Uh, we look at loss prevention items. How uh, are we losing money through uh, too much couponing? Um, have we lost money through theft in any way? Um, we also look at our rewards program. How is that doing? Um, are our guests feeling like we're actually rewarding them for being loyal to our brand because we want uh, to reward them for that, it's it's great. We're happy to have our guests. We have a lot of lifetime uh, guests, uh, ones who've grown up in the company with eating Papagino's pizza. So we we want to keep them around. It's a good thing. Now, as you have applied analytics to your business, what are some of the major changes analytics have enabled you to make? I think the uh, analytics allows us to be a lot more uh, flexible in the market. Uh, we like to respond to the way our guests are changing. So if our guests are becoming mobile, if our guests are using uh, social media, we want to be able to do that. Um, and analytics would let us say how well are we responding to those um, changes that we make. Uh, I know you have one example of your uh, delivery times that were affected by some insight about how quickly you were delivering the product. Uh, tell us that story. Yeah, um, and in our business, 30% of our business at least is, is delivery, so we, we spend a fair amount of time looking at that business and seeing if there's uh, ways we can do to improve it. And at one point we were looking at the statistics and noticing that um, we were promising our guest uh, delivery within 45 minutes, and that sounds reasonable until we actually looked and saw that we were delivering our pizzas well under 45 minutes, in fact around the 30 minute range. So we took advantage of that to then start setting our uh, expectations or our guests that we can actually deliver much more rapidly, uh, be timely. Uh, we actually started looking at uh, how well are we executing within five minutes of when the guests requested to have their pizza delivered. A again, trying to meet our guest expectations and showing that we're distinctive and stand out from our competitors. What have been, how have you managed to uh, drive the use of analytics down into the stores where you probably have some managers who are not very technologically inclined. Uh, how have you uh, taught them, encouraged them to use some of this new information? Uh, we've tried a variety of ways. One way that we tried is to um, start with something they know. So we could reproduce a report that they were used to seeing in paper. We could re reproduce it online and show them that they could get the same data, it has the same um, accuracy, it's just as dependable, and then we uh, start to evolve into let me show you an exception report of that same data, and now let me show you um, uh, maybe a conditionally highlighted report that points out uh, things that you want to be looking at. So we want to uh, lead them into using analytics better, not just having all this data available to them, but letting IT and technology and, and analytics uh, give them better data that they can actually work with so they don't have to spend the time getting to that data themselves. You've recently rolled out an iPhone app and certainly your, uh, your customers are mobile and often make their decisions at the point of uh, uh, when they're actually passing by the restaurant themselves. How do you s see mobility 
affecting the way you bring in customers and retain customers in the future? Uh, again, back to agility, uh, learning to uh, respond to our guests where they are in, in really finite points in time and points in space. So uh, you're talking about the iPhone app and, and now with um, GPS and being able to geolocate your guest and know where they are. Uh, we certainly see ourselves wanting to target those guests as we see that they're nearing one of our restaurants or maybe they're just outside of range and we we're, we want to be able to email them and say, oh, you're close and it's lunchtime. Why don't you stop by? Here's a little coupon just to, to get you down the road to our place. Um, why not incent our guests and, and give them something unique that they didn't have before or that other competitors can't offer.